All right, this is the auto lock I got off Kickstarter. It comes with, obviously, the lock. It comes with the holders and a brief instruction manual here and a thank you note. It's pretty simple. It does not come with the push pin. You'll have to supply your own. The code is set to 000 by default. To lock it, you just slide it through there. You have to hold this button. I, one thing I don't like, uh, although I do like the product in general so far, it's just the button's just a little hard to push. If we're just a little bigger, it just might be easier. But it's not that hard. And you slide it through just like that. And then let go. Now, if you, once you change the code, you cannot release it. You can still make it a little tighter just by pulling. It's not easy, though. You still have to hold the button down even while you're tightening it. Okay. Also, the uh, one thing I like that's an improvement over the cable lock is this one has a bulky connector that it was a little tricky to fit through my helmet when I wanted to clip my helmet to the bike. This one, the auto lock, has a much skinnier, way easy connector that has no problem fitting through your helmet. So that's a huge improvement. Let's head out to the bike and take a look at how it fits there. Go. Now we're looking at my bike here. Uh, Here's the auto lock. You can tell when you use the holder, it's actually a, f a flexible holder. It's much easier to get on and off than, say, the lock that comes with the uh, regular old cable lock. And the old cable lock was actually using screws that come loose. So that's an improvement. Also, the cable lock was kind of bulky. I had to keep it up front just to keep it out of my legs. This one I can put almost all the way flush back here. So that's a much better position for it. So that's what I like. I'm happy with it.